What's up, y'all? So today we're just gonna dive straight into pretty much, you have a poster, and you wanna put a piece of glass, and you want it to see through, get that kind of cool effect. I'm gonna go ahead and warn anyone, if you're gonna make this motion animated, you might need to either go to some sort of render farm, feel free to Google that, or have a really strong computer, or just wait a really long time. So I'm just gonna show the still frame version of this. We're gonna do no animation today, and let's just jump right on into it. Jumping right into it, there's a few things that you're gonna need to make sure to get started with. So first, with your render engine, turn on cycles, GPU. Uh, let's crank down the max samples to 250, just to keep life a little bit easy for you and I. Um, let's go ahead and within the uh, layer properties, just turn on denoising data, it'll save us in the future. Go to preferences. Let's just drag it on over and do uh, image export, uh, import images as planes. You're going to want to turn that on. <clears throat> okay. Once you have everything in here, let's just select all and delete it. Let's first things first, let's go ahead and bring in an image. I went ahead and designed a little poster. I'll be sure to include that if you are interested. Can we upload PSDs? Wow. That's pretty impressive. Oh, you guys, that's news to me. So you can have a PSD or uh, a JPEG, but regardless, an image file. So once you have your poster in, I'm gonna go ahead and use this fully coolie kind of thing. Go front, I'm gonna bring in a camera. I did that by holding down tilde and then pressing shift A. With your camera, let's just go ahead and right click the divider, do that, hold tilde, view camera. Go into your camera settings. Let's go ahead and select for X 1080 by 1920. For us, that's because of what we're doing. Let's just drag it in by pressing G and Y. Bring our camera in subtly. Let's just move it up with Z. Just make it match up. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna do some things here. I'm going to turn this up just so I can only see what I need to see. Okay. Now what we're going to do is bring in some cubes. We want to make, we're doing the part where, what is it going to look like? What type of shapes do we want? And then I'm going to jump into the shading right after that. And after that, honestly, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to bring in a nice little cube. You're going to be doing a lot of scaling here. So I press S. X, let's just scale it on the X axis. I'm gonna make mine like a bit of a narrow kind of shape. S, Y on the green axis, let's bring it down a bit. Now let's do S, Z so we can make it a decent shape. Now let's just bring our shape, G, X, bring it up a little bit. Now we're just kind of just doing some fine tuning. So S, Y again, we don't want it to be too big. SX. Uh, right there is okay. And now what you're going to do is just kind of just rotate it a little bit. You want to give it a little bit of depth. So R and Z. RX. Let's just like, oops. RX. Let's just give it a little bit of positioning. RY. Let's scale it. Move it down. Have it kind of just like, we don't want it to be centered, but. Right about that is okay. All right, friends. Now let's dive straight into shading. So let's just go over to our shading tab. Let's click. Let me just make sure. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new material on that um, square that you have. I'm going to call mine glass. Let's just go ahead and delete this and let's bring in two elements. So that's shift a duplicate shift D attach one of the shaders to the surface. And then we're going to go ahead and attach one of your shaders to this part. Now we're going to summon three glass BSDFs. So really simple guys. Shift D, Shift D, connect to the shader, connect to the shader, connect to the shader. 
and we're gonna bring in a mix RGB three of these bad boys then we're gonna bring in a separate RGB and yeah, really simple here connect R green and blue I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing connect this to this color connect this to this color connect this to this color now this is gonna be red. You want it to correspond, see, red, green, blue. This is the important part, my friend. So if you're taking away something, screenshot this part and just take it and run and you pretty much have it already. And keep in mind, this is in cycles, this is not an EV. So let's go ahead and just view camera here so we can kind of see what we're doing. Let's switch to rendered and you can see pretty much we have a transparent glass. We can kind of just play around with it a little bit too. And the one thing you're probably wondering is like, oh my God, this shit is so dark. Like I can't see. Um, click your plane and just attach the color of the image file so that that could be whatever the image is and turn on emission. Okay, and then what I like to do is just add a little bit of flair to this in the color management, just give it a little bit of contrast. And you should be good. You don't want to play with too much because then you're going to, I know you spent a lot of hours working on that poster and I don't want you to, to lose a lot of that fun. So let's go over to our last part, which is just compositing. <clears throat> go denoise, attach that, drag it to normal. Beto, I think that's what it's called. And then let me show you the render settings. It's pretty much PNG is cool with me. Set where you need to set it. And then when you're done, go ahead and click render image. And that should be it. So let's tap back in and let's talk about it. Thank you once again for diving into my tutorials. Hopefully, you found what you needed. If you have any questions, someone did this not too long ago, they DM'd me and we got down to it. There was something that I did a long time ago and I couldn't figure it out, but eventually we figured it out. So when you're working through this, if you have any questions, if you're curious on how to send it to Evie, maybe I can get you to the right direction or maybe I can even just help you out with your project because hey, that's the way the internet works. We want it to be collaborative and a community. So thank you once again. If you really appreciate this video, feel free to drop a subscribe. Uh, or like it, it's kind of a way for me to see just that you're reciprocating with this. Uh, I know just watching it is great, but for me, I guess as a creator, it's also nice to see um, that folks really appreciate this work. So take care, have a great day, have a great night, or have a great afternoon, and I'll see you around.